اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم everybody and welcome to today's class um, جزاکم اللہ to all of you um, for arriving on time so we are going to start uh, today's class with our daily prayer if I could please have G2222 please السلام علیکم Wa alaikum assalam. How are you today? Good. How about you? Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. I'm very well. Are you um, okay to do the, today's prayer with us? Yeah, I'm fine. Excellent. So I'm going to recite the prayer and if you can just recite after me. Okay. So, A'udhu billahi minash shaitan irajim. A'udhu billahi minash shaitan irajim. بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم Lovely. If you could just do the translation of this. I seek refuge with Allah from Satan, the rejected. In the, name of Allah, in the name of Allah, the gracious, the merciful. Excellent. And we just go on to today's prayer. Just one second. Rabbi alimni ma huwa khayrun indak. Rabbi alimni ma huwa khayrun indak. Good effort. Well done. We'll recite it once with me and I'll slow it down and we'll break it up. Rabbi. Rabbi. Alimni. Alimni. Ma huwa. Ma huwa. Ma huwa. Ma huwa. Good. Khairun inda. Khairun in Beautiful, well done. And the translation? Oh my Lord, teach me what is best for me in your, in your knowledge. Excellent. Sakamullah. Okay, so Aslam. So I just want to remind everybody, um, please. Um, you all know uh, the class etiquettes. So you know that you should be in Vudu, you should have your clean clothes with your head covered. You should be in a quiet place and your parents should also be present. Um, I want to remind everyone today of the correct use of uh, IDs. Um, so we're having lots of people that are coming in and unfortunately, um, we, um, unfortunately that they don't have the correct ID. So um, we need to make sure that everybody has the correct ID because otherwise you can't be uh, called to the mic. And also the problem is that your attendance will also not be taken. Okay, so please make sure that you all have your correct ID. Um, um, you can change, you can rename yourself once you're in the classroom, um, but please make sure um, that you have your correct IDs. Okay, so uh, what we will be doing today, I'll just go through what we're going to do in today's class. Um, so you know that we have our schedule. Um, we will, for the first few minutes, uh, we've done our opening dua. Um, we will also next be looking at a rule, which is the rule in focus today, which is the shdeed. Okay. Um, we will um, then be going on to our practice text, which we will discuss when we start that. We'll be revising all our throat letters today. Um, and also we will um, be consolidating and I'll announce the homework at the end of the lesson. Okay, so um, please keep um, a note of making sure that you have your correct IDs so that when we are choosing you and when we have your attendance, it's much easier for um, us to find the appropriate person. Okay, so I'm just um, signing in our um, discipline in charge. Just one moment, please. Okay, our discipline in charge is now in. Assalamu alaikum, discipline in charge. Can you hear me okay? Wa alaikum, yes, I can hear you. Excellent. And you can see the screen okay? Yes, I 
Yes, we can see Excellent. this. Good. So, so um, I'll move on now so that we're going to start our, our ruling focus. So I'll move on to the ruling focus and everybody please and um, watch at home and anything that we need to repeat, um, we can, um, you, you need to make sure that you're repeating it at home as well. Okay, so for today's class, we'll be looking at the Shdeed. We have a lovely PowerPoint presentation. Okay, we have a lovely PowerPoint presentation to understand what the Shdeed is um, so that we can um, really, really get to grips with this um, concept. So let's start our presentation. So what is the Shdeed, first of all? The shdeed is also known as shadda. Okay, so sometimes you will hear the word the shdeed and sometimes you will hear the word shadda. So you don't want you to confuse the two terms, right? The shdeed is also known as shadda. This is a shadda, as you can see on top of the gene. It looks like this. Okay, it looks like this tiny uh, sort of W um, shape here. Um, so that you recognize that this is called a shadda, a tashdeed. Right? It sits on top of the letter. Right? So it will always be on top of the letter. So we have some vowel strokes which come underneath sometimes, but the shadda is always on top. And a mashadda letter is a letter which carries a uh, sorry, a mashadda letter is a letter carrying a, sh a shadda. Mashadda letter is the letter carrying the shadda. So for in this example, we have a gene which has a shadda on top. So it is called mushaddad gene, mushaddad gene, okay? Now, what does a tashdeed do? The shadda causes joining of letters. So when you see a shadda, you know that you have to join letters. What is joined? So which letters are we going to be joining? The mashaddad letter joins to the most recent vowed letters, the most recent vowed letter, right? So a quick reminder here. A mashaddad letter is a letter which is carrying the shadda. So this, in this case, we have a mashaddad gene. A vowed letter is the letter carrying vowel which is a vowel seen in this case. So one of the vowels is like this nama here. We also have a kasa here, which is a vowel, and a fatha here, which is a vowel. These are our vowed letters, okay? Vowed letters. So here we have a vowed seen. So what do you need to join? You need to join the vowed seen with the mashaddad gene, okay? You need to make sure that you sound the mashadad letter and the vowed letter. So you have done sukun, so you know about um, joining. You need to make sure that you sound both letters, the mashadad letter and the vowed letter. But you need to emphasize the mashadad letter as well. So you are not to rush through the mashadad letter. You have to emphasize it. You have to make sure each letter is sounded clearly, okay? What you need to do is you need to press on the mashaddad letter. What does that mean? What's the difference between a sakin letter and a mashaddad letter? In Arabic, instead of writing the same letter twice in succession, it's written once and the shadda is placed on top of it. So as you can see here, we have a seen joining with the jim which has the shadda on top, okay? And we've separated it out here so you can see the two letters individually, right? Which is basically what it means is that you have a seen joining with a jim, and then you have to add another jim afterwards, okay? So the way that you would pronounce that is suji. So you have to pronounce this jim and you have to pronounce this jim, but you don't take a breath or a break in the middle, okay? Suji, you join. And then you pronounce it, um, you, you emphasize the vowel sound afterwards. 
right? So you can see there are two genes in this situation. You need to press down hard on the mashaddad letter, make it really hard so that you can hear there are two sounds or two clear sounds there, but they come as one sound, right? You have the joining sound, sudj, and then the gene with the gasa, g, sudj, without a break. because there are two of the same letter under the shadha. That's basically what the shadha means, that there are two of the same letter there. Okay, so let's go through this in five easy steps. We have step one, what is the mashadad letter? You have to identify the mashadad letter, okay? Step two, what is the vowed letter? You have to identify the vowed letter. Step three, the mashadad letter, the mashadad and vowed letter, um, you have to join them together. You ignore the stroke at this time on the Mashadad letter. You just concentrate on the joining. Okay. And then step four is at the stroke, you add the stroke on the Mashadad letter and you make the right sound. Okay. So you look at the stroke on the Mashadad letter, you join it first, then you look at the stroke and then you make the right sound accordingly. Okay. And then step five, you have to. You have to put everything together. You have to combine everything together. You have to remember to press down on the mashadad letter so that you say it very, very clearly. Okay. So let's go on to our practice now. And um, if we could have a student, please, and then we'll continue the practice. Yes, Assalamu alaikum. Uh, can I ask G2623 to unmute yourself? G2623. Okay, G2623. I think I can't unmute her. So can I ask? Well, well, Assalamu alaikum. Can, can I be called at 640? Uh, um, is this G2623? Yes. Um, I think we're just, we're calling you now. It's difficult to keep a note of everybody that we want, we're want. we going to call later. Can you um, recite now? Um, I can't. Is that, um, can you call me later, please? Um, discipline in charge can try to call you later, but we, I can't promise anything, okay? Okay, thanks. Jazakumullah. Okay, um, if we could have somebody else, please. Okay, can I ask G2613 to unmute yourself? Assalamu alaikum. Yeah. Wa alaikum as -salam. This is G2. 613. 613. Uh, is this G2613? Yes. yes. Yes, excellent, good. Okay, if we start with Dawood and Tasnia, and then we'll go through and we'll recite the words that we see. A'udhu billahi min ash-shaytan ar-rajim. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Excellent, good. Okay, so when we do this, we have to be really careful and we have to go slowly. So first we would join the ba with the dal, bad, right? So we have to make a hard sound there, okay? Bad. bad. After that, we have to say the vowel, which is underneath the dal, which is a kasra. So the whole sound said together would be baddi. Baddi. Very good. So you pronounce the dal really hard, really clearly, both um, when you're joining and then when you're saying the separate sound. Make sure you don't have a break in the middle. Everybody at home, please practice this as well. Okay. Baddi. Excellent. Well done. Let's do the whole word together. Nubadila. Nubadila. Very good. Well done. Let's go to the next one. Kibban. Kibban. Very good. Once more. Kibban. Very good. So make sure you're pushing really hard on the shadda letter, okay? Because it's actually a double bar. There's actually two bars there, right? Let's do the whole word together. Mukibban. Mukibban. Very good. Excellent. Well done. Burri. 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 Very good. So you keep pushing. You're pushing really well. You're making it sound really hard, which is really important. Excellent. Let's do it in the whole word. Burrizat. 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 Very good. Excellent. Last one here. Sudji. Sudji. Very good. Once more. Sudji. 
Sujji. Very good. Let's do the whole word. Sujirat. 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 Excellent. Very good. Well done, um, G2613. So what I want everybody to remember here is um, even if you make it, if you emphasize it even more, if it doesn't sound natural and you feel like you're making it too hard, it doesn't matter because we really want you to practice on making it hard, making the sound really clear, because when you start putting it into words, it will naturally soften the sound slightly. So what you need to focus on at the moment is making sure whenever you're practicing, you say the sound really, really clearly. Sujji, burri, baddi, kibban. So even if you feel that you're making it too hard, don't worry, it will naturally soften when you're saying the, the two letters within a word. Okay, so really practice that hardening. Okay, good, well done, excellent. So let's move back on to our today's practice. Okay, so we've done our dushadid. Um, let's go on now. We are going to look at our um, practice surah for the day. So in today's class, we are looking at a new surah today. Let me just, I've got this screen up. I need to move this out of the way. Um, our new surah today is uh, Surah al bayyana It's a Medanite surah. That means it was revealed in Medina. The part number it is in is part 30 of the Holy Quran. So it is in the last part of the Holy Quran, part 30. The chapter number is chapter 98 of the Holy Quran. Okay, chapter number 98 of the Holy Quran. And there are a total of nine verses within this. Okay, so it's chapter number 98 out of 114 verses, uh, chapters, and it only has nine verses out of 6,348 verses. Okay, it has one ruku out of 558 rukus in total in the Quran, right? And the order of revelation is number 100. So it was the 100th surah to be revealed to the Holy Prophet, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Okay, and this is the surah we are going to be focusing on um, in today's class. Right. So if we could have um, a student to the mic, I will, as usual, I will recite and then the student can recite after me. Um, we will break it down where we need to. We can go slowly where we need to. Um, but I want everybody at home to be practicing as well with this surah. Okay, Jazakum. If we could have our next student, please. Um, can I ask G2654 to unmute? Six five four. G two six five four. Okay, no problem. Then can I ask G two six five nine to unmute? G two six five nine. Assalamualaikum. How are you? Alhamdulillah, I'm very well. How are you? Good. Good, excellent. Jazakumullah for asking. Okay, are you ready to recite today? Yes. Excellent. So I'm going to recite. I will start with Dawood and then I will read Tasmiya and then I will recite the first verse. Okay, and then I want you to have a go, but we can break it down if we need to. If you want to just have a go at reciting, you can do that as well. Okay, so let me recite first and then you tell me how you want to do it. All right. A'udhu billahi min ash-shaytanir rajeem Bismillahir rahmanir rahim Lam yakun alladhina kafaru min ahlil kitabi wal mushrikina munfakina hatta ta'tiyahumul bayjina so, would you like to recite? I was a bit like, okay. When, when you say Bismillah, I want you to read it. So, I want you to do it really, really slowly. And as you can see here, there's a Shadda here, and there's a Shadda here, and there's a Shadda here. So, those letters need to be hardened. Okay, so read Bismillah again once more. Bismillah, Rahman, Rahim. Beautiful, well done. Lam yakun lazina kafaru min ahlil kitabi wal mushrikina mun 
Very good effort. Excellent. Really, really nice recitation there. Well done. Excellent effort. We're going to go through it once more, a little bit more slowly, okay? But you did it really well. Recognize the letters, you pronounce them correctly. Um, and you even did your joining with your shadows really well as well. So we're going to focus on that in a little bit more detail today. So let's try it once more. Lam yakunilazina. Lam yakunilazina. Nilazina. Nilazina. Very good. So make sure you really harden this sound. We need to hear the lam sound um, when you're joining with the noon. So nil. But we also need to hear the lam sound when you're saying it with the fata. Nilla. 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 Very good. Lam yaku nilla dina kafaru. Lam yaku nilla dina kafaru. Very good. How long? How many seconds do we say this for? One. Okay, so when you join the ra to the wow here, um, and the wow has a, um, a schoon on top. This becomes a wow mud. So we have to say this two seconds. Kafaru. 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 Very good. Well done. Excellent. Min ahlil kitabi. Min ahli. Min, min ahlil kitabi. Wal mushrikina. Wal mushrikina. Mun fakina. Mun fakina. Good, well done. And again, remember the shadow here. Fakina. Fakina. Beautiful, well done. Hatta ta'tiya humul bayjina. Hatta very good effort. Um, which letter is this one? Uh, Alif. Good. Well done. So you said uh, tal here. I think you just um, you, you thought it might be a lam. So it's an alif. So you said it alif, which was correct. So ta. Remember ta. You're joining the um, the ta to the alif. So you have to make Sorry. a soft, soft jerk sound. Ta tiyahumul bayina. Very good, well done. Excellent, excellent. So I just want to say something uh, because we are making a stop here. This you are correct. This is um, a Dharma Buddha. So um, normally you would say al tu if you are going to continue. We are making a vak here, a stop, and we will discuss vak in more detail in the next in a, in a future class. But when you do a vakf here, you have to um, take away these two dots and you would say bayjina. So it turns into aha. So al bayjina. Just from here. Al bayjina. Very good. So you don't say, you don't join it to a ta, you take away those dots and you join it to the ha. Al bayjina. Very good effort. Jazakamullah. Thank you so much, uh, G2659. Um, um, inshallah, we will speak to you again soon. Allah Hafiz. Keep practicing You're this um, this shadda. You did really well when you um, focused on the shadda in the bismil, uh, in the basmiya as well. You focused on each of the shadda letters and you really hardened them. So keep practicing that as well. Okay, Jazakumullah. Allah Hafiz. Okay, if we could have another student, please. Um, can we have G two six two two? G two six two two. Assalamualaikum. Waalaikum assalam. How are you? I'm okay. Alhamdulillah. How are you? Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. I'm fine. Jazakumullah for asking. Um, are you okay to to read? If we start with Dawood and Tasmiya, I will recite this verse to you, and then you can read it after me. Okay. You ready? Excellent. Billahi min shaitan rajim. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. 
Rasulum min Allahi yatlu suhufam mutahara fiha kutubun tajima. Okay, off you go. A'udhu billahi min ash-shaytanir rajim. Bismillahir rahmanir rahim. Rasulum min Allahi yet lu suhu faumu tahara. Very good effort. Very, very good effort. You can you recognizing all the letters. Um, you're recognizing all the vowel sounds, really good. Um, what I want you to do now is really focus on trying to harden your shadda letters. Okay, so once more, we're going to break it down this time and recite after me. Rasul, remember this is two seconds here. Rasulummi. Rasulummi. Very good. Rasulummi nawahi. Rasulum min Allahi. Very good, well done. Yatlu. Yatlu. Suhu fam tahara. Suhu fam mutahara. Tahara. Tahara. Good. So even though it's a ha, we've still got a shadda there. So we need to harden the ha. Tahara. Tahara. Very good. So really make sure you focus on that, on the, uh, the shadda letters and harden them. You want to have a go again by yourself? Tahara. Tahara. Good effort. Well done. Let's carry on. Fiha kutubun qayjima. Fiha kutubun qayjima. Very good effort again. Well done. Good. So um, just one point here. So I said it at the beginning here. So you you were doing the vath correctly. When you make a stop here um, on the Dharma Buddha, you make the two dots disappear and you treat it as a blank ha okay but you don't elongate the meme here so you don't say ma it's ma so it's it's a short it's a uh, short succinct sound it's not an elongated sound okay Gejima. Gejima. very good once more fiha kutubun very good. And you did a really good shadda sound there as well. You really pressed on that ya. So I could hear the sound really clearly, which is what is important. Well done. Jazakumullah. Thank you so much. G2622. Allah Hafiz. Okay, if we could have our next student, please. Okay, can I ask G2726 uh, to unmute yourself? G2726. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum assalam. How are you today? I'm good. Good. How are you? Alhamdulillah. I'm well. I'm well. Um, are you understanding everything okay? Yes. Yeah. You understand um, what to do with the shadda letters? Yep. Excellent. Can you, in this first line here, this um, part of this verse here, can you tell me which letters have shadda on them? The ra and lam. Excellent, good. So we have a mushaddad ra and a mushaddad lam. Excellent, good, well done. So we're going to start again. I'm going to recite the verse and then you can recite afterwards. Okay. A'udhu billahi minash shaitanir rajeem. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Wa ma tafarraqal Utul kitaba illa min ba'dima ja'at kumul bayjina. Wa ma ta'farra. A'uzu billahi min ash-shaytan ar-rajib. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. 
وما تفر وما تفر قل زين زين وطل كتاب إلى من 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 بعد من بعد ما خجا أت أت هم البينا بينا Very good. Excellent. Your Mashadad letters were excellent. You really um, pushed on all of these letters when you had to join to them. That was really good. Well done. So a couple of little points that you just need to keep in mind here. Um, you said ila, so you needed to make sure you join that first. So it's il, and because of the shada, you have to really push on that. Illa, illa, because there's an alif there, you have to elongate it. Okay. Um, and here, um, this is not a rule that we've covered yet, but you can see this tiny little meme here. If you see a tiny little meme like that there, then you have to join um, whichever letter comes before the stroke letter, you have to join it. You have to join it to um, you have to join it to um, the uh, sorry the meme. So you have mimbadi. So the join the meme here to the meme here. Mimbadi. Okay. Mimbadi. Very good. Well done. And this one here. Illa. Very good. Excellent. So let's have another go at this first. I'm going to break it down a little bit. I want you to do part by part with me. وَمَا تَفَرَّقَ الَّذِينَ وَمَا تَفَرَّقَ الَّذِينَ أُوتُوا الْكِتَابَ أُوتُوا الْكِتَابَ إِلَّا مِنْ بَعْدِ مَا إِلَّا مِنْ بَعْدِ مَا جَاءَتْ very good excellent lovely recitation really really clear letters really clear sounds you want to have another go by yourself okay مِنْ بَعْدِ مَا جَاءَتْهُمُ الْبَيِّنَةِ Very good. Excellent recitation. Your um, hardening of your vowel, your hardening of your letters was really good, all your mashadad letters. You said all the sounds properly and where I told you where you need to make corrections, you did that really well. Jazakamullah <coughs> uh, 2726. Really lovely recitation. Keep practicing, keep working on it. Allah Hafiz. Assalamu alaikum. Okay, so really good, mashallah. Everybody's reciting really well. Everybody's understanding really well. And like I said, pushing down really hard, even if it sounds a little bit unnatural that you're pushing too hard, it doesn't matter because when you read it in flow, you don't notice that. Okay, so we're going to have a slight, um, we're going to have a break here from our recitation and we're going to look at our letters of the day. So we're just quickly going to go over and revise our um, throat letters this week. So everybody at home, remember, these um, are the letters which come from different parts of the throat. Um, so the first one we're looking at here is an alif. Okay, an alif has no dots. It can join to the previous letter, but it never joins to the next letter. Okay. Um, in the initial form, it's written by itself like this. If it's in the middle of a word, it's joined to the, it can be joined to the previous letter. And even if it's at the end of the word, it can be joined. If you're combining it, it will all be in uh, separate forms there. And it comes from the bottom of your throat. Alif. Ah. Ah. From the bottom of your throat. And you can even put your finger at the bottom of your throat if you need to, to know where the sound is. Then we have Kha. Okay. Now, the letter Kha, when you're saying it, remember, it's five seconds. So you have right it comes from um the top of your throat now so you can actually feel um the top of your throat when you are saying it and you can say the sound right it has one dot on the top and it can join to the previous letter and it can join to the next next letter so you have your um initial form your medial form and your final form. And when it's combined, it can be in any of these three forms. Right? 
Then we have your rein that also comes from the top of your throat. Rein. Right? It has one dot on top. It can join to your previous letter and can join to your next letter. So in the initial form, it's like this. In the medial form, it changes slightly. The direction of the, um, of the curve here changes slightly, um, but there's still just the one dot. And in the final form, it can, it can um, be in the full form like this. So in combined, this is the initial, this is the medial, and this is the final. Top of your throat. Rhyme. Okay. Then we have um, your ha. And this is from the middle of your throat. Again, you can put your fingers on your throat if you need to. It looks similar to the ha, but there is no dot. Um, and it is ha. Five seconds, right? And as with the ha, you can join it um, in the initial form, in the medial form, and in the final form, you have the full form. Okay. You then have your, um, your hamza, but the sound of the hamza is like the alif sound. So it's a. So it's from the same place, the bottom of the throat, like your alif, ah, right? So your hamza has no dots. It never joins to a previous letter and it never joins to the next letter either. In the initial, be written by itself. In the medial, it may be on top of a line or on um, um, a little ridge. Um, in your final form, again, it will not be joined. It's always written in this individual form here, okay? And then you have ein, ein. Right? Again, this comes from the middle of your throat. It's like the rein, but no, um, there's no dots on there. It can join to the previous letter and the next letter. So the initial form, medial form, and your final form. And in combined, it looks like these. Right? And then you have your ha, which comes from your bottom of your throat. So first we had the other ha, which came from the middle. And now we have the ha, which comes from the bottom, which is a softer sound. Um, again, it has no dots. It can join to um, the previous letter or the next letter. So your initial form looks like this. So the shape changes quite a lot when you're reading the ha. So you need to be very vigilant and careful to make sure you recognize it. Initial form and your medial form and your final form. So it comes in three different forms depending on where it is. And if it's written by itself and it's not joining to anything, it can come in this form as well. Okay, so you've got your seven throat letters. You've got your ha and your rein. They come from the top part of your throat. You have your ein and your ha that comes from the middle of your throat. And then you have your hamza, which is your a, a sound because it's the alif sound. A, a, and your ha, which comes from the bottom of your throat as well. Okay, so just really practice those letters. Those are sometimes some of the most difficult letters to say in the sense that you're not used to using um, those parts of your throat in that way to focus on those letters. So really practice your ein, your ha, ha, rein, because they are different letters from what you may be used to in the English language. Okay, so we're going to go back to our um, recitation practice now. Um, so we have our recitation practice. We're practicing. Um, chapter 98 verses 1 to 5 we've revised all our throat letters so we're going to continue to practice verses 1 to 5 okay so if we could have um, another student on the mic please yes uh, can I ask G2724 to unmute assalamu alaikum wa alaikum assalam how are you alhamdulillah fine good how are you alhamdulillah I'm fine as well Zakumla for asking are you understanding everything in the lesson okay Yes. Excellent. So you understand the mushaddad letters? Yeah. Excellent. So can you tell me in um, the tasmiyah here, which letters have mushaddad on them? In this first line. The lam. Good. And the arar and the other ra. And the other ra. Well done. Excellent. Very good. Um, can you also tell me um, how many seconds you will say this lam for? For five minutes. Two seconds. Two seconds. seconds. Okay. And this meme? Two five, seconds. Two seconds. Okay, two seconds. So um, everybody, when you are reciting your Dawood um, and Tasmiya, so be very careful and mindful and try to recite it and read it while you're reciting. If it's in front of you, it's better to read it um, because it helps you to make sure that your pronunciation is really good. So I am going to recite... 
um, up to the end of verse one, because we're just doing verses one to five. Um, and then you can have a go to recite afterwards, okay? Okay. Okay. A'udhu billahi minash rajim. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Lam yakunil kafaru min ahlil kitabi wal mushrikina munfakina hatta ta'tiyahumul bayjina. A'udhu billahi min shaytanir rajeeb. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Lama yakun lazina kafaru min ahlil kita bil wal mushrikina munfakina hatta very good effort really really good you tried to recite that so fluently you tried to make sure you didn't have any breaks and you kept going 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 really good well done so there were a couple of little things but i think when you're reciting and you're focusing so much on getting everything said sometimes and these little mistakes happen but it's okay so what we're going to do is we're going to go over it little bit by bit and then we'll recite it once at the end again fully so recite after me Lam yakunilladina kafaru. Lam yakunilladina kafaru. Very good. Min ahlil kitabi. Min ahlil kitabi. Wal mushrikina. Wal mushrikina. Munfakina Mun Munfakina 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 Hatta Tatia Humul Bayina Hatta Tatia Humul Bayina. Very good. That was so lovely. Mashallah. Well done. You want to have another go doing it by yourself, but really focusing and making sure all of your sounds are really clear. Okay, off you go. Lam yakun lazina kafaru min ahlil kitab bi wal mushrikina munfakina hatta tatiyahumul bayina. Very good. Lovely recitation. You really pushed down on all your mashadad letters. You made sure that you said them not only clearly, but you really hardened them. So I could hear the sound of the joining and the sound of the vowel um, coming afterwards as well. So that was really good. So keep practicing. It's really good to break things down and say them in parts and then put them back together. It helps to really focus on um, the exact pronunciation of each word and it improves your fluency as well. So keep doing that. Jazakumullah G2724. Alafiz. Alafiz. If we could have another student, please. Um, can I have G2592 to unmute yourself? G2592. Okay. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum assalam. How are you? I'm fine. Okay. Alhamdulillah. How are you? Alhamdulillah. I am fine as well. Are you understanding everything okay? Yes, thank you. Excellent. So I am going to recite Dawood and Dasnia and then I will recite the next section and then you will have a go. Okay? Okay. A'udhu billahi minash shaitanir rajeem. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. I'll recite first and then you can recite. Rasulum min Allahi yatlu suhufam mutahara fiha kutubun tajima. A'udhu billahi min ash-shaytan ar-rajim bismillahirrahmanirrahim. 
Rasulam min Allah yatlu suhu famutahara fiha kutubun kaykima Really good, really good effort. Let's stop there for a moment. Really good effort, really nice, beautiful, um, beautiful tune there, mashallah, as well. But I want, we're going to break it down a little bit and make sure that we say each part correctly, okay? So we're going to start from here. Rasulum minallahi. Rasulum mina, minallahi. Once more. Rasulum minallahi. Rasulum min Allahi. Good. Yatlu suhufam mutahara. Yatlu suhufam mutahara. Suhu. Suhu. Suhufam. 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 You have to um. You have to uh, hold on the mean for two seconds. Suhu fammu. Suhu fammu. Tahara. Tahara. Very good. Well done. Um, we're going to learn the rule um, with the meme um, in future lessons. Um, but you have to, when you have a meme mashadad, you have to hold on that for two seconds. Okay. Suhu fammu. Tahara. Suhu fammu. Tahara. 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 Good. So you have to make sure you're joining ta, joining the ta to the ha. Ta, and then you're saying the ha with the uh, fatta afterwards. Ta ha. Ta ha. Really force, really push on it. Once more. Ta ha. Very good. Ta ha. Ta ha. Very nice. Excellent. So you're really pushing on that sound. Well done. Good. Let's move on. Fi ha kutubung. Fiha kutubun. Fiha kutubun kaijima. Fiha kutubun kaijima. Very good. Well done. Let's start again from here. Do you want to have a go again? Really slowly, really slow it down so we can hear each sound. Off you go. Rasulam min Allah hiyatlu suhu fammu suhu fam. Mutahara Suhu fam Suhu fam Mutahara Fiha kutubun keijima Kutubun Kutubun keijima Very good. So ku, tu, they're both one second each. Kutu, right? So we don't say, we don't elongate either of these sounds. Kutubun keijima Kutubun keijima very good. Well done. Excellent. Lovely recitation. Um, G2592. Really good effort. So just make sure that you're really, um, when you're joining your mashadad letters, you're thinking, I need to join it and then I need to say the vowel. But you're not to make a break in the middle. So you join it and then you say the vowel sounds. Um, here we had uh, Lummi. You have to make sure that you don't make a break in the middle of the sound there. Okay? Really good effort. Jazakumullah. Thank you so much for your help. G2592. Hello, Fiz. Hello, Fiz. Can we have our next student, please? Um, G, can I have G2623 to unmute yourself? G2623. Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum. G2623. Can you hear me? Yeah. Excellent. Yes. So I am going to recite uh, Tawud and Tasmiya and then we'll recite this verse from here. Okay. A'udhu billahi minash shaytanir rajeem. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Wa ma tafarraqal ladhina utul kitaba. Illa mim ba'dima ja'at humul bayjina. A'uzu billahi minash shaytanir rajim. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Wa ma da'afak. Farra 
Colo Si Si No Very good O O O O O O O O O O O O O O O O Shall we just do it up to there? Let's do it once more up to there. Wama ta farra kaladina. Wama ta ta farra kaladina. Very good effort. Well done. I'm going to break it down even more. Wama. Wama. Ta farra. Ta farra. Ta farra. Ta farra. Ta farra. Qalla. Ta farra. La. Qalla. Qalla. Zina. Zina. Okay, let's just do this one section. Wama ta farra kalla dina. Wama ma. Da da fa 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 ra ka ka la zi zi na. Excellent, good, excellent. You need to break it down. Just say each letter, um, and make sure you're joining each letter individually. Really good. Well done. Let's move on. U tul kitab. U tu tu ka ki ki ta bi ba very good u tul kitaba u u ku ku ki ki ta ba very good effort well done illa illa very good illa two seconds illa min ba'dima min min ba ba di dima good so remember i mentioned here there's a tiny little meme there so you, instead of joining to the noon you're going to join to the meme okay min ba'dima min min Mim Mim Ba Ima Ja Atumul Bajina Ja At At Who Who Mul Baj Beiji, Beiji, Beijina, Beijina. Excellent. Let's try that last bit once more. Ja at humul Beijina. Ja ja at hu hu mal Noi Bay 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 No. Very good. Really good effort, G2623. Um, you just really, all you need to do, you just need to keep practicing. Break everything down. If it means reading two letters and then two letters and then two letters, that's fine. Just make sure you're reading each letter clearly. Um, you're doing your joining clearly because when you read them very slowly, it will help you to be more fluent and you'll be able to build it up and put them all together.
Okay, so really break the, the verse down, break the words down, join them, and then try to put them all together um, as, as three or four words together. Okay, okay. really good can effort. I, Jazakum can Allah, I thank you so and much. Um, I think we're going to have somebody else for the Endua now. But Jazakum Allah, thank you so much for your okay. help. Allah Hafiz. Love this. Love this. Okay, so um, we've done our letters of the day. So Alhamdulillah, we have um, finished today's class. Let's have a quick roundup and recap what we have done today. Um, our rule today um, was the shdeed. It's like a small little W shape um, symbol, which sits on top of a letter. Um, it's also known as a shadda. Um, and letters carrying the tashdeed are called mashaddad letters. Okay. A mashaddad letter joins to the most recent mutaharik letter, voweled letter. Right. Um, so, like we said, just to remind you, um, mashaddad letter, voweled letter. The mashaddad letter joins to the most recent voweled letter okay um we also looked at our practice text today which was chapter 98 and we read from verses one to five so we looked at our letters of the day which were our seven letters from the throat okay so please make sure that you really practice those letters it's really important that you um get them so that as um you go further on it's easy for you to say those letters and your homework today is to practice the rules that you've revised so far in your daily talabat. So all the rules that you've done so far, you are to practice them in your daily talabat. And please pay attention to all the rules that you've revised so far, all of them. Press on the mashadad letters when you are um, reciting. Remember, if it sounds harder and you feel like you're putting too much emphasis, emphasis on it, don't worry. It will naturally soften when you're reading verses um, in flow together. Okay. Um, so please make sure you do, you do that homework and you practice that, right? Okay, can we please have our um, final student for our final um, prayer, closing prayer? Can I ask G2596 to unmute? G2596. Or can I ask G2... 737 to unmute yourself. G2737. Asalaamu Alaikum. Wa Alaikum Asalaam. How are you? Good. Alhamdulillah. Excellent. Did you understand everything in the lesson okay? Yes. Yeah. yeah. Excellent. Good. So we're going to we're going to end with our prayer. So I'm going to recite and then you recite after me, okay? Oh, I'm, I'm going to recite it first, okay? Allahumma arhamni bil Qur'an al-Azim. Allahumma arhamni bil Qur'an al-Azim. Waj'al huli imaman wa nuran wa hudan wa rahma. Waj'al luhum li imma mawa. Good effort. Um, once more, just with me. Waja ala huli. Waj al huli imam. 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 Nurawa. Nurawa. Hudawa rahma. Hudawa rahma. And if you could read the translation. To oh, Allah have mercy on me, the, the Quran, the great. And make it for me, the leader, the light, the guidance and the mercy. Jazakumullah, Sana Jazah, Jazakumullah to all the students, all the parents. And inshallah, we will see you again tomorrow. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu.